very excited. Uh, it's something new and it will take a lot of learning, but I'm ready for it. I'm, I'm there for it. What made you want to, uh, what made you want to take over, take over our seat? What made you keen to do this? Um, it was, I think, the very good campaign that Brian was running and uh, the, the kind of honest and genuine politician that he is uh, made me realise that there is a way of changing things and uh, really that was the core, that was the main motivation why I thought it was possible for me to do something like this. Um, I, I, I suspect you must be the first ever Slovenian to be elected to Limerick City and County <laughs> Council. <laughs> How's that feel? <laughs> that I almost feel like, you know, I, I am part of the country. I soon will be. I will get my citizenship next week. Uh, but it is, yeah, it is very exciting. And I think I can contribute a lot with my, you know, with the experience and knowledge of what comes from the other country. I think it, it can enrich, enrich the Limerick policy making process. Council. I suppose to continue the good work that Richard has already done but was, was the biggest, um, biggest thing behind the whole help, which, you know. And what will you be your priorities now you're uh, now you've been elected, now you've been co opted? The people of the Dale Rack Yields to start with and, and, and for the good of County Limerick that, that would be the you know, to carry on as I said the work that Richard had already started. So Road Island is, is very important to all of us, but I mean you have to um, to be part of Road Island, to be part of the, the a city and a county and, and, and sort of everything that goes with it. So that, that would be the 